Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our low block spin, but we're going to add the 360 to it. We have a previous video on our low block spin where we took our arm from 90 degrees. We had our palm facing up in our normal configuration from our 360. We spun it and we had our other hand catch. People who are martial artists will recognize this as being in almost every martial art that you can think of. It's probably not in some, it's not in boxing, you know, but it's in most Asian martial arts that I know about. We spin, we set up, we squeeze that tricep over and over and over again. Now we're just gonna take that and we're gonna add a 360 to it, adding one step of complexity to the system that you already know. The previous video had three variations in it, single arm, single arm, and alternating. Now we're gonna take that alternating and we're gonna turn it into a 360. Review from the previous video, from our 360 position, handle parallel to the floor, heavy side, palm faces up, spin, rotate, squeeze the tricep, drive the shoulder down, catch with your palm facing away. Come to the other side. Before, we just had a prayer transition to go to the other side. Now, your hands are already set up for a 360. Palm faces towards you. Arm at 90 degrees, handle parallel to the floor. Spin, lock out, palm faces away. Bring it back to center. You're set up for your 360. Stand it up, go around your head, palm faces towards you, palm faces the sky, palm faces away from you. Back to center. With learning technique, we would like to change the minimum number of things at a time. And when we change, we would like to change to something we already know. So you practice your 360 independently, practice all of your 360s independently, then you start adding them into these new things that you already know. This upside down low block with our palm facing away, pretty simple, bring it back to center, go around the head again. This is all essentially brain training. Most people, lose their ability to learn new skills over time. As they age, they don't do a lot of new things. Brain gets weird. As you age, learning any new language is good for your brain. Think of this as learning a language, but you're just learning a movement language. And we're making our language kind of symmetrical. We're doing an equal amount with our left hand, equal amount with our right hand, putting in transitions and then changing between the back of the body to the front of the body, to the outside of the body, to the inside of the body, over and over and over again. And we just keep adding complexity over time because it's good for you. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.